Good afternoon, and welcome to a special edition of the Worf Report for February 1st, Keeping America Vigilant 2021. Just sprayer. Those are the words of a Rochester, New York police officer speaking of a handcuffed and crying nine-year-old girl. The little girl was beside herself and not complying with officers to get her feet inside the police car, and Deputy Police Chief Andre Anderson indicated that the girl had been suicidal and reportedly, quote, wanted to kill her mother. While those are some disturbing things to hear from a nine-year-old girl, the child was bawling in the back of the police car begging for her father and didn't seem to be posing a threat at that time. After all, she was handcuffed the entire time. Take a listen. You need to get warm, otherwise you're going to get hypothermia, so sit back, okay? I'll get your dad, I, I promise. My dad. Is he here? I don't know. Okay. I'll find him, okay? But you, hey, look dad. at me. I can't find your dad until you sit back and I can close the door, okay? I will find your dad, so sit back. I promise. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look anywhere else. I promise. Get in the car. Okay? I'm done telling you. Get this in the car. This is it. This is it, hon. Okay? What's her name? Dear, why okay. you just stop for a Come second out. and Please take a go. deep breath. Hey, Please just go. stop. Please. I will get your dad. Bro, no, you said that you were gonna pepper spray me. No, please, no, stop. Oh, I got a bad just, one. Just prayer. No, just prayer at this point. This just happened the other day, folks, and to be completely honest, this video makes me angry. I have an 8-year-old daughter and an 11-year-old one as well. This is not how you handle a child under any circumstance. They treated her as if she was an adult, completely disregarding the fact that she was not only a minor, but under the age of 10. While we Trumpers are all about supporting police and law enforcement, things like this need to stop. At the end of the day, the situation wasn't handled properly, and if the child really was suicidal and saying these things, what happened there certainly didn't help anything. Thankfully, Police Chief Cynthia Harriet Sullivan condemned the actions of the officers, saying, quote, I'm not going to stand here and tell you that for a nine-year-old to have to be pepper sprayed is okay. It's not. I don't see that as who we are as a department, and we're going to do the work we have to do to ensure that these kinds of things don't happen again. Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren agreed, saying, quote, I have a 10-year-old child, so she's a child. She's a baby. This video, as a mother, is not anything you want to see. The mayor admitted that the child was harmed in the police incident, but received care at Rochester General Hospital and then was released into her family's custody. I'm sorry, folks, but as a father, my heart breaks for this little girl, and it angers me to see the way they treated her. Today, we pray that this little girl gets the mental and emotional help that she needs, and for officers across the country to recognize situations that require empathy and compassion over hard-heartedness, so that these types of things are avoided in the future. An officer takes an oath to protect and serve, and unfortunately, many become almost drunk with authority and forget that quite easily. Many are also hardened by the things that they see on the streets, and that's hard to turn off. For God's sake, the police didn't even take the time to get the child's name. May God bless this child and her family, and may God bless law enforcement around the world that they may always do what is right according to their oath. Thanks for watching, America, and please, don't forget to subscribe early to our new platform before we leave YouTube and all other platforms for good at theworthreport.com for the special early price of $1.99 a month, guaranteed to never increase even after we launch. And for the military, senior citizens, and those experiencing financial hardship, 
We've created a discounted subscription at theworfreport.com slash discount. These are the very best rates we can offer due to fees associated with payment processing and minimum processing requirements. So please support us by subscribing today. And when we fully move to our new platform, which we hope to do around the middle of this month, you'll have full access to all of our segments in one uncensored location. We appreciate your support and we love you all. This has been a special edition of the Worf Report for February 1st, keeping you vigilant, America 2021. God bless you all. God bless President Trump and God bless America.